Hello My Ex, Episode 72, Part 1 of Skibid Toilet, came out today, and I'm really excited about this part. Although I know something is wrong here, because in the interview Boom said which episodes would be mega epic and 72 wasn't there. Why? It's probably a fight between G-Man and Astro Toilets, but maybe it's just G-Man spiritoing or something. I know that there is something wrong here. I know that I didn't manage to analyze the leaks, but that's because I didn't have time to do it. Okay, let's go with the analysis. Just remember to thumbs up and subscribe, because for 1000 subs, there will be an episode about creating a Minecraft server. So it all starts with Plungerman's Pov, and then we see that we are with Mech Cameraman's Pov, and this is great info that old characters are coming back. Another thing is the inscription scientist Cameramna 1337. It means 1337 Cameraman. It's possible. But it's more of an Easter egg. After a while, the scientist hits the tablet when he sees that his friend has died, and he is quite angry. We immediately see the photo from the leak. Only from a different perspective, and there is one interesting thing here. What the hell is a TV doing here? It doesn't look like a TV man, but why is it here? Other things. We have three cameramen here. After a while, we see a police toilet mutant who is shooting rockets at us. And we are shooting at him with our lasers. So we can see that we have an upgrade, or some replacement hands. Next we see a mutant who shoots at us with his rockets, and then we shoot at him. One of the cars overturns on the driver, but he somehow survives. Another thing is that he got metal arms that are really powerful. He hits the mutant toilet and destroys it with lasers, then another one attacks him. But it survives being hit in the head with a blade as if it were a robot. Which would explain why it looks the same as the previous one. Then she gets shot with lasers. Then he destroys another one. There are many more toilets. Then we see a mutant from the leak. Who destroys to Kamerman with his sickle? Then we shoot it with lasers and it covers itself. And I don't know what the shield is made of. Nothing happens to it. It attacks us and then is suddenly shot down by a new character. And honestly... If this is what spiders are supposed to look like now, I can't wait for an improved spider speaker. Because it will probably also have mega improvements, it's a pity that there is no TV spider. But oh well, the strider destroys the new mutant in a moment. It falls down and makes a sound of which there are quite a lot here. Suddenly, a toilet comes out of the smoke with a cigar. Commander toilet. Who doesn't care about the attacks and shoots a few missiles at the strider? Tan, however injures it without any problems, and uses his new power. It is a bit similar to the power that Cameraman's Titan has in his finger. He shoots him, and he dies with two more strange sounds. Then I give him a thumbs up, and we go to the destroyed mutatin toilet. We lift his sickle, and he gives us the middle finger. It's unbelievable that Skibbity Toilet does something like that. Only Cameraman can give the middle finger. Leave a sub for Scientist Cameraman. After a while he smiles, knowing what's coming. A G-Man appears and drifts in, and destroys everything. I don't know why he rises, but it's very sus. After a while, Strider G-Man shoots him. You can see that he doesn't care about it. Even though he shielded himself from the Strider's strong attack. And if you look at it now, he has most of the powers of the Titans. It's crazy how many things the scientists managed to recreate. Maybe this unfinished science project is a powerful core, or something like that. Then the G-Man destroys the Strider. And on the one hand, he uses only three lasers. On the other, it shows that the Strider is not as weak as it used to be. The Strider falls, and our mech explodes, and we quickly jump out of it. You can see that the Sinatista either got new legs, or has robotic ones. Later we look at the G-Man with other Skibbity Toilets passing by. And I notice that there are more toilets with containers here. So maybe it is a slightly bigger project than we think. One of the Skibbity Toilets is talking to the G-Man. But he's dead for a long time, because Astro Toilet destroys him, and now you can see how big he is. You can also hear the little Skibby Toilet screaming, and then Astro Toilet throws him at the G-Man. And now I'll tell you something. I don't understand these analyzers. Just turn on the subtitles, and you know what he says, you know the penalty for high treason. Commander. And now I have some questions about the USSR, that's some commander, and the state. I don't know. But for me, it's probably the Astro Toilets that betrayed them. This is a bit strange. He goes on to say that no one will escape justice, and they both start loading their guns. I also have a theory that this design will be used in the next part against the Astro Toilet. 
Listen to what the Astro Toilet says. <laughs> And that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Leave a sub if you don't want to miss the analysis videos.